Former BBC royal correspondent Jenny Bond joined BBC Breakfast hosts Roger Johnson and Rachel Burden to discuss Prince Harry and Meghan Markle returning to the UK. The pair are set to fly into Manchester this week to attend a charity conference, before appearing in London for another charity event. However, Jenny had some stern words to say about the Duchess' attitude when it comes to speaking to the press and daring her business, comparing her to her father Thomas Markle. Joining Roger and Rachel via a Zoom link, Jenny dived straight in on the former royals and exclaimed, I think they are getting quite a mixed reception actually. I think the tide is rather turning, the tide of public opinion against Meghan and Harry to an extent, but they will always have their army of supporters. But they are here to support their charities, it's a youth world leaders conference in Manchester they are going to first, Meghan is going to make a keynote speech there. Then they are off to Dusseldorf to mark the one year out from the Invictus Games because that is Harry's baby. He is going to attend a press conference there but not answer any questions. And then they are back in London on Thursday for another charity very close to Harry's heart, the World Child Awards. Rachel touched on the recent controversy Meghan sparked after releasing an episode of her podcast, Archetypes, the day before the anniversary of Princess Diana's death. The episode focused on how she was treated within the royal family, with claims she experienced racism as a black woman within the family when she married Harry. She asked, We have had more stuff come out recently in Meghan's promotion of her podcast, she is referencing the family fallout. I just wonder whether strategically it is the right thing to do, what are your thoughts on that? to keep replaying some of the difficulties they have had with their own family members. Jenny fumed, I am sorry to say because I was a great advocate of Meghan when she joined the royal family but I'm sorry to say she seems to be turning into her father. She castigated Thomas Markle, her father, for constantly talking to the press and now she can't seem to stop and now she is going on about how dreadful it was in the royal family. How she was gagged and followed everywhere and people use the n-word about her child, I mean completely unsubstantial claim and I don't know who she was referring to. Dot yet she cannot stop going on and on and on about it, they have a wonderful life in California, they have 16 bathrooms, who needs 16 bathrooms? They surely have all they ever wanted and yet they keep on whinging and I think a lot of people in Britain feel maybe she should shut up. Ahead of their arrival in the UK, there have been questions as to whether the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will be visiting the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and also the Queen, who is currently staying in Balmoral. It is not yet known if Harry and Meghan will visit the Queen this time around. The next big party in the royal calendar is Prince William and Kate Middleton's joint 40th birthday party. Royal sources told the Mirror it was agreed Wills and Kate, who turned 40 earlier this year, should celebrate their landmark birthdays in style. And the Queen, 96, may join them and other senior royals at the bash, if she is feeling up to it. The question now remains as to whether Harry and Meghan will fly back over to the UK to attend the bash in September with their children Archie and Lilibet. BBC Breakfast airs every day from 6am on BBC One.